Me and my retinue of hirelings have come in order to get a loot, here Sam's magical loot, back from Viscount Xavier, or possibly Xavier because we are in America here after all. The quest is called Make Believe. And it's in the Fey world. A motley group of redcaps guards the gate ahead. It's strange that a noble of the summer court would retain those violent, unpredictable creatures as servants. No, I can't. I can try an intimidate check. Intimidate check worked. Great. Probably an easy fight if not, but. So he's in an ivory tower somewhere. Possibly that big one over there by the look of it. Let's see what's through this door. Yeah, it's gone he's gone paranoid, he's starting to imagine things. But also this loot is very possibly what put Arden, Lord Arden, to sleep. This is weird. It's like there's a floor, but there's no floor. This looks like some sort of crazy lag rather than um, something that's meant to be happening. Still, appears to be doing a damage on it, just not animating while I'm doing it. Weird. Weird little room. Are they in here? Just a bunch of stools. Hmm. Disappointing and weird little room. Oh well. Not the way then. So yeah, this is his estate, but the he's not going around it. courtyard seems deserted. A lone tower looms ahead. Lord Xavier yeah. will likely be found inside. What can inside. I do for you, Outlander? I'm Sloggy. Hello. Um. I would, yeah, I want to ask you some questions, Lady White Lily. I want to speak to Viscount Xavier. I'm good I can see himself in the tower. He says, I think the assassins are after him. I'm trying to lift Lord Arden's curse. I didn't realise I was speaking with a hero. It's still a matter of the tower, it's enchanted. Only one of the Archfaker breaches magic defences. Hmm. Might have to wait for the snail, unless. I think our acquaintance is too. Is, is a little too brief for that conversation. Sure, I'm your manager. If your heart is true, if my heart is true, ah, uh, you, yeah, you've got a red cap problem. Yeah, I've noticed that. One of the red caps at the gate mentioned I was. It was her ladyship's order to close the tower. Oh, you're not the lady in question. So, Lady Grey Moss, aren't you worried about all this? No, she's bored and a bit hungry. It's an unusual situation. The lack of hospitality is dreadfully rude. Right, she's bored, but not much use either. As is often the case with the aristocrats of this world. Into a furious this. flutter of wings greets your ears as you enter this shop. Hello, Aggie. Some angry-looking horses menace the slumber form of an old man. Oh, she's fast asleep. Wanna wake her up? No, she's been thoroughly dosed with pixie dust. So another blank. At least I've got a finger bone out of it. So two two buildings where I've drawn a blank. Some sleeping woman. And some sort of chapel full of red guards. What's up here? A gnome cowers at the back of this smithy, surrounded by menacing redcaps. Your instincts tell you he won't have long to live unless you intervene. Mm, intimidate still works with these redcaps. Hello, Snug. Many thanks, strangers. I think you might have just saved my neck. Here, take a trinket. What is it? I don't know. Don't mean to seem ungrateful, but I'm not really one to gush over heroes, no matter how worthy. I'm a smith, not a poet. I need to get to Lord Xavier. He's locked up in the tower with almost all his guards. He's no call from the outside for help or entry. 
I've tried. He must be scared of something truly dreadful. Is there any way to get to the tower? Oh, I'm back to I'm just a humble smith. So he's given me something. I don't know what he gave me. I don't think it's going to be much. I don't think it's a quest item either. Maybe it's just a piece of junk. I think most likely it's just a piece of junk. I hope. So another useless room, possibly. Let's keep going up. What's this? A mouth. The tower is sealed. None may enter. A magic mouth. And no reasoning with a magic mouth. So now, where haven't I been? Over here, in this one. Hopefully, this is the lead I'll be looking for. I've got a little optional popped up there, defeat the water elementals. This and a storehouse is occupied by a very energetic chest. It gapes at you with a big toothy grin and speaks. It wants to play a game, a Approach, riddle. Approach, friends! I am Riddlelock! Come, let us talk! Right, okay, shoot me your riddle. I need to play for something. I have what's inside me, but if I get right, he gets to eat me. Fine. Oh, I'm just going to try to intimidate it. I've managed so far. Oh. <laughs> oh well. He's slobbered all over me. I'll get all of whatever he's got. What's he got? Lots of mimic goop. It's in the ladrin. Who are you? Captain Navalas of Viscount Xavier's house guard. Yeah, he's well he's just been inside a mimic for ages. He must warn Viscount Xavier the Lady Greymoss is not what she seems. His chief advisor had been for centuries and now she's dead. These are the bones you see beside me. Someone stuffed her inside this chest thing. I don't know what it is that now stands behind Viscount Xavier, but whatever it is, it's not Lady Gr Lord Greymoss. It must be someone or something that's using her face and her voice. How can we reach him? Magic protecting towers older than the mountains, but we may have one recourse, the legend of the thrice proven friend. The tower appears in many of the old tales, you know, it's a place of great power. The legend of the thrice proven friend tells of a queen who was tricked by a jealous king into sealing himself into the tower. Oh, yeah, just tell me what we need. We need a traveller from far away, that's me. Next we need three tokens of friendship from the, and then the tokens must be so I've got one from the Smith already. Do you count? And I do. So I've got brooch. Where else can I get a token from? Check the grounds. Hmm, right, so go talk to that lady again, maybe she'll... Um... Unless you already did give me one, I wasn't really paying attention. It will say up in the, um, in the quest objectives. Captain's token, Smith's token, so I need to get one more token, probably from that lady. Hello, lady white lily, can I have what a token? What can I do for you, Outlander? How fare you, my lady? Ah, oh, a quest. Yes, I shall have a quest. Lady White Lily has she requested that you find her a snack. A frivolous request, it seems. Oh, so Yet, really? in the Feywild, small promises may have strange consequences. So this was where the chef was, wasn't it? So I bet there's something to eat around here. Maybe I need to wake her up. Oh. Oh, there's no food lying around and the chef's asleep. Wakey, wakey! I wonder if I cast some sort of area of effect spell. I don't think I've got any power attacks now. Hmm. No. So how do I wake the chef up? Explore the corners I haven't been to. Oh, water elementals. That's not optional. Oh, no. 
might as well get it. Chest, but I don't think it's going to help much. No, just a bunch of stuff. There's normally something under waterfalls. Doesn't appear to be in this case. Well, back out, there's a storehouse over there. Let's try that. Have I been there before? I must have. The tower. That's the storehouse. I have been in the storehouse. That's where the mimic was. So I've got to wake up that chef. Oh, a stodgy old apple tree. A curious tree stands here by itself. A single, brilliantly red apple hangs from one of its branches. Hello, tree. Hmm. Jump. You knock the apple from the tree and it falls to your feet. The tree is not pleased by Sorry, it. Dad. Oh, she killed my cleric. Oh well. With the dryad surrender, the apple drops from the tree like a stone. So she can have this apple then, can't she? Unless she wants it cooked. I have an apple for you, my what lady. What can I do for you, Outlander? No, it's probably not cursed. Great, and she's given me a token. My part in this story is done. <clears throat> Time to rest. Good, good. And I shall go and speak to the magic mouth. And hopefully there'll be a shrine in there so I can get my cleric back. That's got a tough dryad. Hello, magic mouth. The tower is sealed. None may enter. A true friend asks. A true friend may enter. There we go. There we go. Doesn't take much to become a true friend, I don't feel it. There's the shrine. Let's get my cleric back. As you reach for the door, a swirling torrent of snowflakes envelops you. Yet, you aren't harmed. You don't even feel cold. I do not serve the Prince of Frost. As you say, regardless, we cannot help you. Who speak with the Viscount? He's upstairs. Can't even talk to the guys anymore because of the dog. Right, there's a there's a mean dog and my hirelings appear to have got involved in a fight somewhere. Where are they? They go upstairs. They're ahead of me, they're rushing it. Alright lads. Calm down. Eladrin guards wearing the garb of the summer court await you in this room. One of them holds up a hand to hail you. Strangers, I would parley before we come to blows. You may step forward in safety to speak. I'm here to help Lord Arden. Spare me a trick, Miss Greymoss forewarned me to be aware of your gilded tongue. My gilded tongue. Now's not the time for words, but for swords. Fight to subdue. You are faced with an unavoidable battle with the Aladrin. You will be able to stay with us and spare their lives, even at the risk of your own. I wouldn't want to kill a bunch of Aladdin, they're just fools. I've just been to Persia Heretics, I've done enough bad for one week. You have bested me. Ow. Yes, good. Now, where are you? Oh. 
I'll just go through the door then, I guess. A big spiral staircase. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Yeah, I'm definitely killing these, that's the journal. Oh no, no, they're still yielding. Nice little bust. Another level up. Oh, he's got a lot of guards. I kill the doggies, but I spare the people. Meaning. Mercy, mercy. Yeah, you can have mercy. Right, this way. Pretty door. And a big satyr statue. I can smash their benches for me yet. Another oh, rushing again. More red caps. These look like they have fresh blood in their mouths. Red cats. Basically crushed goblins. Most of these Aladrin appear to be victims of the red caps. Whoever has replaced Grey Moss must be desperate now. You have reached the top of the tower where a regal Aladrin silently awaits your approach. He appears to be alone. I see you best in my cards. I know that you're agents of the Prince of Frost and he is not known for mercy. You have me. I won't tarnish my last moments with a futile struggle. I'm not here to kill you, mate. Tell your prince I faced death with dignity and I didn't beg for my life or hide in a wardrobe. I don't work for the Prince of Frost. I can only imagine what they're paying you. The deed itself will make you famous. Just listen. My story is long and proud when it ends in tragedy. I will not change that. Sh I surrender. What? Finally, you're listening. I'm not an assassin. I need your help. But Greymoss said dead. Something's replaced her. Where is she? There she is. Yes, you fool. I'm still here. Another hag, is it? Oh. Agnes. Well, she's gone. What we got to say for that, then? Xavier. Oh, nothing. Let's get into this chest then. No. So where is she? Oh, there she is. Hiding. But your precious Greymoss is dead. Trusting idiot. Who told you the Prince of Frost wanted you dead, hmm? Me? Who said the assassin told you it was Me. But it was you. Who was supposed to die willingly a little buggy on the conversation there, but hey, there we go. Oh, she's lots of them. She's cast like magic mirror or whatever it's called. Mirror image. How do I find the real one? Probably with through seeing. to the last I'm calling out for here some again moment, the viscount rises to his feet and blurts who was that what's going on i demand an explanation where adventurers were here to ask about her some he stayed here singing and dancing quite a charming chap did he leave anything with you yeah he left uh, this loot behind you yeah, probably we need the, the loot Mate, we need the loot. Are you saying that here some's behind Lord Arden's slumber? Yes, I get the sense he is. My godmother always wanted me to stay clear of the arch fay. Good advice, godmother. Just take the yeah, good. He's giving me the loot. Now, where's Greymoss? Was this assassin story all a trick? I had to beat the tar out of them, but they're still breathing. 
Oh, and he gives me a, an additional token, probably the chest. No, still not a chest. What's that? Oh, a little lockbox. Nice, I can at least open that. Where's the loot? If I get the loot, there's the loot. That's the end of the quest. I'll see you in the next one. Dark Moss Gate. Okay.